everybody, and welcome to Assignment P. We're doing the second page, which is on page 156. Um, so we're just going to go over 1 and 2 here. Uh, remember that uh, above at the top of the page there are step-by-step -step instructions on how to do these problems. Uh, just will give us a little bit more room to work here. Alright, look at number 1. Uh, we're to find the distance between the parallel lines. Number one is a set of parallel lines. They both happen to be horizontal. So, uh, I got a horizontal line y equals 8 and a horizontal line y equals negative 3. Just think about the graph. y equals 8, somewhere up there. y equals 3, a horizontal line somewhere down here. We just need to know this distance right here. If, if you just look, there's no computation really necessary. How far is it from um, 8 to negative 3? Well, you could find that by simple subtraction. 8 minus negative 3, that distance is 11. And that's our answer to number 1. Now this also works if you have vertical lines, like x equals a number. Well, x equals a number. You would just simply subtract them to find out how far it is between them. And be sure to take the absolute value. If you get a negative distance, we don't accept that. We have to have a positive distance. Now, for number two, we want to start out by picking a point on either line. I'm going to pick a point on this line. 0, 3. I know that 0, 3 is the y-intercept. I can write it in coordinate form, just like this. I also need to think about what's the slope of these two lines. Well, the slope is 1. 1 right next to the x's here that we don't have to write. I also need to know well, what would be perpendicular, because we get all distances from a perpendicular um, intersecting line or a transversal perpendicular to 1 would be negative 1. Now normally we just flip the fraction and change the sign, but really there's no fraction here. 1 over 1, flip it, it's still 1 over 1. So I simply change the sign. Now using this point and this slope, I'm going to make an equation of a line. y equals negative 1x plus 3. y-intercept right here, slope right here. This line that I just created is perpendicular to either line. I know this line here is intersecting the x plus 3 line at 0, 3. I now need to know where does it intersect the x minus 1 line. So what I'm going to do is solve a system of equations. I'll set x minus 1 equal to negative 1x plus 3, and I'll solve for x. Adding 1x to both sides gives me 2x. Adding 1 to both sides gives me 4. Divide both sides by 2, x equals 2. I know the x-coordinate of uh, the point of intersection. I need to know the y-coordinate. So I'm going to take this 2 and substitute it in for the x minus 1 equation. Put that 2 right in there. y equals x minus 1, y equals 2 minus 1, which is 1. Alright, so now I have a coordinate this 2, 1 is the intersection between our perpendicular line here and our second line in our equation, this one right here. I also have a corresponding point, 0, 3. This is the other intersection. I'm going to use the distance formula to find the distance between those two points. Distance formula. Square root of the distance between the x-coordinate squared and the distance between the y-coordinate squares. Uh, the x-coordinates, 2 and 0. That distance is 2 minus 0. Y coordinates, 1 minus 3. That distance, 1 minus 3 there. 2 minus 0 is 2. I have 2 squared. Oh, it's the sum. It's the sum of those two. Let's make sure we get that right. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So that's negative 2 squared. Watch your signs. Both of these are going to yield 4. Four plus four gives me eight, obviously. I can simplify that down to two square root of two. Decimal, a little bit more useful, uh, would be 2.8. And there you are.